So, so I, th I think the Swedish uh, setup is very similar to uh, the, the three other nodes we've heard presented here. And it's very much building on a national infrastructure, which is called BILS in Sweden, uh, Bioinformatics for the Life Sciences, which is hosted at the, the Science for Life Lab, which is the, the large genomic center at Karolinska, Stockholm University, and KTH in, in Stockholm. And, and of course, the, the Swedish bioinformatics infrastructure, just like the INB in Spain, NBIC in, in Holland, and SIB in, in Switzerland, has largely a national focus and is providing uh, services and consultancy for the Swedish researchers. In, in, the, in the context of Elixir, uh, Sweden have said they will contribute with the Human Protein Atlas, which is a, a large Swedish flagship project, and I, I will talk through uh, some of the slides here and, and try to explain that, and really try to make sure that this resource can interoper interoperate and be integrated into the other Alexia resources provided by EBI, by SIB, and by other nodes. I think there, there is an ambition in Sweden to, to offer more services, uh, tools, and databases in the context of Alexia, but initially the, the Swedish node will focus uh, squarely on the Human Protein Atlas. So the Human Protein Atlas project is a large project. It's independently funded in Sweden. It started 2003, and it's really about the systematic generation and use of antibodies to explore the human proteome. So the, the first goal for the project is by two years from now to have a fast first draft of the human proteome. And what this first draft is, is expression of peptides from every known human uh, protein and then uh, generating antibodies for these peptides and use them to essentially do uh, immunocytochemistry. Uh, five years later, so by 2020, the goal is to have a much more refined atlas with much more uh, validated and, and characterized antibodies with much higher, higher uh, uh, quality. And this is, is funded by an independent large foundation in Sweden, the Wallenberg Foundation and of the European Union. And it's a, it's a collaboration between several universities. So in the Human Protein Atlas, the data in the Human Protein Atlas is 46 normal tissues and organs and 20 different types of cancer tissues. And on top of that, there are also a large number of cell lines uh, uh, and clinical cell samples from uh, major uh, or uh, chiefly cancer uh, cell samples. And uh, these are um, stained with antibodies, and they're also manually annotated by a team of pathologists uh, in, in India who go through every image and uh, score them for quality and annotate for content. So uh, this is one example of pictures uh, uh, from, uh, from the human protein atlas. So this is immunofluorescence, of course. But there are also things like uh, cytochemistry uh, staining. So this is human CD47 in a 23-year-old female. It's the fallopian tubes. and, and um, uh, there is uh, uh, links, as you can see, to the patient IDs and uh, further data by the pathologists. So uh, the first version was launched uh, this year, or version 11 was launched this year, and that had 18,000 antibodies covering about 15,000 genes, about 12 million images, and all this data is available for free. But, but having data available for free in a silo isn't much use, and, and the effort from Sweden in the context of Elixir is really to make sure that this uh, protein expression data is interlinked and interoperate with the other major proteomic resources. And so the, the pilot project currently run and the, the, the resources provided by Sweden is really on, as you can imagine, if you do interoperability, it's things like ontology and dictionary alignments and really the development and the use and the exposure of services that allow you to navigate between these resources. So <clears throat> with that, uh, yeah, I think we, we should skip the technical details because I don't really feel confident talking through them. <laughs> and uh, so with, with that, I think I would stop here and uh, really open up for our panel debate, which will be moderated by Carol. And in addition to the speakers, Johannes, uh, Barent, Alfonso, and uh, Janet, 
We also have several other heads of nodes present in the, in the audience. So, uh, Jack and Anna, if you would like to come up here, I think it would be really nice. And we will open up for a, more of an interactive question and answer session to, to discuss and, and uh, an opportunity for you to explore uh, how Alexa will develop. Um, and I don't know how you want to run this, Carol, with this rather sort of <laughs> large auditorium. <laughs> So, so uh, 